Have you ever wondered what happens when two drugs meet inside your body? This is the realm of drug interactions, a fascinating yet complex phenomenon where one drug can alter the effect of another. This alteration can transpire through changes in the pharmacokinetic or PK, fate and pharmacodynamic or PD action of the drugs. Pharmacokinetic interactions delve into the journey of a drug within the body, including its absorption, biotransformation and excretion. On the other hand, pharmacodynamic interactions explore how drugs induce alterations in the effects of other drugs due to exerting similar or opposing changes to the body's physiology. But it's not just about prescribed medications. Drug interactions can also involve herbal medications like St. John's wort and even foods such as grapefruit. Understanding drug interactions is crucial, as they can significantly impact the effectiveness of a treatment plan. Pharmacokinetic interactions occur when one drug affects the way another drug is absorbed, metabolized, or excreted by the body. Now, let's break it down and see how these interactions can happen. Absorption interactions can occur when one drug changes the gastrointestinal pH, gastric emptying, or intestinal motility, thereby affecting how another drug is absorbed, Similarly, a drug can also alter gut mucosal function, leading to changes in absorption of other drugs. Biotransformation interactions on the other hand, involve modifications in the activity of drug metabolizing enzymes. This means that one drug can speed up or slow down the metabolism of another, affecting its concentration in the body. Lastly, we have excretion interactions. Here, one drug can alter the renal elimination of another drug, impacting how quickly it is removed from the body. Pharmacokinetic interactions can greatly affect the concentration of a drug in the body, which ultimately influences how well the drug works. Pharmacodynamic interactions on the other hand involve changes in the body's response to a drug. These interactions occur when one drug alters the effect of another at its site of action, leading to changes in the body's physiology. Let's break this down. Imagine two drugs, drug A and drug B. Drug A is intended to lower blood pressure, while drug B is a pain reliever that has a side effect of raising blood pressure. If taken together, they could potentially counteract each other, leading to what we call a subtractive effect. In this situation, the blood pressure lowering effect of drug A could be diminished. Alternatively, consider a scenario where both drug A and drug B are intended to lower blood pressure. If taken together, their effects could be amplified, leading to an additive effect. This might cause a greater than expected decrease in blood pressure which could be dangerous. Pharmacodynamic interactions can therefore significantly modify the intended therapeutic effect of a drug. Now that we've covered the basics, let's delve into some examples of clinically relevant drug interactions. Take warfarin for instance. When used with certain antibiotics like ciprofloxacin or clarithromycin, its effect increases, potentially leading to an overdose. Hence, an alternative antibiotic is recommended. Then there's the interaction between oral contraceptive pills and rifampin. This can reduce the effectiveness of the contraceptive, resulting in an unwanted pregnancy. Another example is sildenafil, a medication used for erectile dysfunction. When used with nitrates, it can cause a severe drop in blood pressure, known as hypotension. Even herbal medications are not exempt. For instance, St. John's wort, when used with SSRI antidepressants, can lead to serotonin syndrome, a potentially life-threatening condition. Lastly, certain cholesterol-lowering drugs, HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors, can cause a severe muscle condition called rhabdomyolysis when used with niacin, gemfibrozil, erythromycin, or itraconazole. These examples illustrate just how important it is for healthcare providers to consider potential drug interactions when prescribing medications. Thank you for watching our video on drug interactions, a critical examination. We hope you found it informative and enlightening. Now, we need your support to keep delivering such high-quality content. If you haven't already, please subscribe now to join our Medicine Health 360 community. It's a simple click for you, but it means the world to us. And if you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up. Your likes encourage us to bring more interesting, challenging, and high-quality videos to everyone. Remember, the more you engage with our channel, the more we can tailor our content to your needs. Our channel has many more videos to bring the crucial, latest, and systemic medical and health knowledge with a simple approach to everyone for better health and a better life. So, stay tuned and turn on your notifications so you never miss an update. Lastly, we value your feedback. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Whether it's a question about drug interactions or a suggestion for our next video, 
We'd love to hear from you. Your comments help us create content that's most relevant and useful to you. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family, you never know who might find it helpful. Thanks again for being a part of Medicine Health 360. See you in our next video.